Look at this. <laughs> okay, so look. two bowls back so that she can have her regular food and then a little bit of her regular food and some blue I can't remember what it's called but it's like the blue cat food so she's got two little mixes figured out what was wrong she was extra irritated because there was only one bowl out and her whole kitten life she's had two bowls so um, she's mad and that's why she was whining so much at her food over here so now we figured it out which I'm really happy about. I guess I should have realized, like, hey, cats don't really like, change, but, like, when we first got her, we only did have, like, one bowl filled, but we had this container that had a spot for two bowls, so I didn't think it would be that big a deal for her. Apparently it is. <laughs> so, now she has a mixed one and a regular food one, and she's really loving it. She's loving the variety. So, Kiwi is happy again. Um, and now she's being way less whiny, which is really good. And she's happy, huh? Are you happy? And this makes me happy. I feel like they read it for me. <laughs> Super good. We're both happy. Good, good morning, guys. It is Friday, the 1st of December. It is day 16, 19. It's the 1st of December already. I can't believe it. But that means I can, like, even though I could officially do it after Thanksgiving, because that's what most people think, now I can officially, officially just do everything Christmas. So I'm really excited. And I can officially send out my Christmas cards that I've been waiting to send out. Um, so anyways, happy December 1st. Um, I hope all of you guys are doing well. I'm doing semi-well. I'm feeling a little bit anxious about the um, doctor, the eye doctor. But if you saw my Instagram post, you would know that I got these little like Mayan worry dolls um, for my mom for Christmas one year. And what you do is you take the little dolls and you close your eyes and you tell them what you're worried about. Then you put them back in their box and you put them on your pillow at night and your worry is supposed to be gone. Um, so I did that last night. <laughs> it kind of sounds a little crazy. I did that last night. And I do actually feel a little better this morning. Not as anxious as yesterday. Um, I'm just hoping that it's a quick appointment and that they, like, if they have to dilate my eyes, that they will just put the drops in my eyes and not make me do the stupid machine where you have to like focus on an object because last time I tried to do that I was in there an hour trying to do that and the lady was just like getting so frustrated with me and she just kept saying like okay try it again try it again instead of just like whatever let's just get the doctor and do the eye drops and so eventually when the doctor came by and he saw I was still there doing the machine he's like let's just dilate her eyes so I'm hoping that that doesn't happen because that was so embarrassing um, and then, once I get my new, um, prescription, which I actually don't think it'll be any, like, it won't be a, probably a new prescription, because I don't feel like my eyes have changed at all. Maybe a little different? I don't know. But then I'll be able to get my new glasses, and we're going to start searching for new glasses. So, I gotta find those as quick as possible, though. Well, I mean, I don't, but I want to. Because it takes at least like a week or two weeks for them to like, once you pick the lenses, for them to like send it out and like put it in the, in the frame that you want and then send it back and like all of that stuff. So that's going to be a long wait. But I'm really excited to get new glasses. My mom is going to go with me and that is going to be like at the very end of the day. And then me and Andrew are going to go watch a movie and it's going to be super fun. 
so I'm really excited I'm trying to just be optimistic and not think about the anxious part but what I'm really appreciative of is that you guys in the comments were so nice when I talked about like my anxiety about it you guys were so nice it just made me feel like I was just talking to a bunch of friends so just want to say thank you for that because <laughs> this is like real life about like what's really going on and that's the whole point of these vlogs so anyway it's too long of a clip let's get back to the cute christmas stuff oh no keely attacked one of the bears now you're probably like how do you know it was kiwi like it could have been like the fan it could have been somebody walking by it well she's now jumped up there and started noticing those little bears and noticing that they're like a styrofoam type of thing and she notices that when she smacks it with her paw, it's not like a, a statue that won't move. It's like little and playful and like light and she can just play with it. And so she has been playing with those a little bit. She's been naughty. Have you been naughty? I think you have because of this. So again, this is up because she's going under the tree and she's biting on the cords. I don't know if she's biting on the actual tree, but um, this time the barrier's not so terrible because, sorry, my dad's in the garage. It's not so terrible because it's kind of in its own corner, so it's not terrible. And you can still see all the really pretty ornaments and everything. There's some pretty ornaments in this part too, but, you know. Also, I put up my new Beanie Boo ornaments that Andrew got me off of those jelly beans that I'm really excited for. So, yeah, Kiwi, if you have a cat, it's very difficult to have Christmas. is just one thing after the other because now last night our garage door broke and now it won't open and um, if you have it shut all the way it is very hard to push up at all so now it's broke so it is currently like this and it has to stay like that it has clamps on the side right there To hold it up and pretty much we have to keep it up um so it's easier to lift when dad gets home and he has to put the car in here but yeah so now uh i have to check on that every i've been checking on it every like 20 minutes or so just to make sure nothing gets stolen from it but that's awesome that that happened today right <laughs> Yay. and this door which is usually only locked when nobody's home has to stay locked uh because somebody could just easily go under our garage and try and get into the house so uh yeah somebody has to be here today so i think andrew is the lucky one that gets to stay here for the whole day to watch it while i go to the doctor at like four so I'm watching it throughout the day until 4 and then Andrew's job, but yeah, now our garage door broke and my brother's window broke. Well, it didn't break, but it fell. Um, it's perfectly still intact, but it just won't go up. So yeah, once we got the car fixed, then his car had the window issue and now we've had the garage. So pretty much from October 31st all through november has just been bad luck bad month everything's been going wrong so i'm hoping that it gets fixed so i can count that as like a, oh it was a november bad luck time because it did happen yesterday on the 30th um not today on the first so i'm counting that as november i'm crossing my fingers that the bad luck is over my fiance is literally the sweetest man ever. He just hired someone to fix our garage door. Um, my dad was like, oh my gosh, how much does this going to cost and how do I fix it? And Andrew literally called a guy, got him out here today, is going to get him paid right now. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> They're working on everything. And they're all doing it right now. And they're going to try and fix the garage. And you're going to go get them something to pay for it. And <laughs> Andrew is just so sweet. So that is what is happening right now. 
they're trying to fix the garage my dad doesn't know my mom doesn't know so i'm a little concerned that if my dad like comes home for lunch or something and he sees like two trucks here and then he sees them in the garage doing things he's gonna be like hmm what's happening here but andrew should be back in only like five or ten minutes um and then hopefully they can fix it but good job andrew this is hilarious you guys they now have another car over there <laughs> they brought three cars <laughs> <laughs> That's funny to me. <laughs> Three cars for one garage. <laughs> right there, right there. I'm trying to figure it out and fix it. Cross your fingers that it gets fixed. <laughs> That's one problem that we don't need to have anymore. And we have a solution for it. Um, and then hopefully nothing else goes wrong. So. I'm hoping that they can fix it and then it's not just like, uh oh, sorry, this is too beyond. So hopefully that's the case. On another note, the first set of Christmas cards is going out next week. Alright guys, so I just got back from my eye doctor appointment. I really actually liked my eye doctor. Kiwi, what are you doing? Don't you get that straw, that's not yours. Anyways, I went to my doctor. No, he um, was really nice, really great. The appointment went really fast, and it was pretty awesome. And now I can get new glasses. And the cool part is, is me and my mom thought that we were going to have to go to Costco because they have the cheapest deal. But my eye doctor place actually has a deal. I can get two pairs of glasses, lenses, and glasses for $120. So, I might do that. I'm going to go and shop around for glasses. I'm going to insert a couple of pictures that I've taken of some glasses so that you guys can see which glasses you guys think. Um, and then I'm going to go and look around for more. I did take a picture. Mom took a picture of me in a pair of glasses at the office. And she took an embarrassing picture of me in the actual, like, dead doctor chair. I almost said you dentist chair. No, I said <laughs> that every time I go to the dentist... With my dad, he always takes a picture of me and always goes, Mom. And he takes a picture of me and I always think it's really embarrassing. So now Mom took one. So I'll insert all of those and you guys can give me your opinions. And I'm going to go and look and see. Man, nobody can vlog in this house. Not just you, it's Andrew too. <laughs> and now I can look for some new glasses. Also, I'd like to see that the garage guys did fix the garage to the point of where we can close it and it does work but my dad needs to do a little tweaking on the machine to actually get it to close all the way because when it goes down towards the bottom it leaves a little space and then it pretty much just goes back up um so we just need to fix that so hopefully well not hope i unhooked it so it'll, you just have to lift it. not hopefully dad is super dead and can pretty much fix anything so once dad once dad fixes it <laughs> Instead of when, once dad fixes it, uh, then we'll have our garage back up and working. So, awesome to Andrew. Thank you, Andrew.